actually starting. I'm starting a recording now. <laughs> Some NA production value. There we go. The camp five, four. Oh yeah, I need to change the title of the stream. Yeah, hey, look, FIFA, tanks. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah, FIFA. Football, Sims. Oh, we saw a little bit of Anthem there. Yeah, yeah. split second. Star boo, Battlefield. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> uh, it's so cringy. Come on. Yeah, you don't make cool games. <laughs> Can't well, put together a sizzle reel. I know it's pretty like ninety percent sport. Oh, are we starting with Anthem? I mean. Wow, look look at the, the technology they're implementing here. Yeah. Three dimensional space. <laughs> no. Goodbye. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> oh hello. That? Yeah, I'm a little bit You're behind not. you. <laughs> oh it's Renee Lady. Whoever, she's everywhere. Yeah. She's pretty cool. Look at that necklace, though. Hey, she at least she's themed with the red. She's actually dressed how I like to dress: red and <laughs> blouse, <laughs> red and jeans. Yeah. But before we do that, EA Play is more than just the show you're about to watch. Right behind these doors, there is a fan fest outside, and it is huge this year. It's a full three-day gaming festival where thousands of gamers can come and play games for free. Now, that, that's why I prefer the PlayStation presentation. Because, <laughs> like, they don't the, talk. <laughs> they just show the stuff. sitting next to her. He's yeah, kind of just awkwardly. Awkward just <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think I, I think I can mouse over it. Yeah, the dude's just like, yeah, I'm not going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to look to my side. <laughs> Feels bad. The awkward clap. Fans for EA's start? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? They have no fans. Bunch of dumb guys. It's probably just all the EA uh, employees. <laughs> like that one year where Ubisoft only had employees in the <laughs> paid paid audience. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Uh -huh. Audience interaction. No, don't touch, don't touch him. What the heck? <laughs> Personal space. Personal yeah, space. Pat my shoulder. Is this the year where they announce retirement? I hope. <laughs> it's V for Vendetta. Oh, okay. Oh, are we just gonna? Uh, Anthem's gonna be the last thing, dude. Well, yeah, dude. Oh, I should turn it's off the, the music. Only, it's the only thing like anyone has interest in. All right. <clears throat> Wait, that's it? You didn't even show home. <laughs> they, that's it. They don't show anything. <laughs> no, they're going to talk about it for like 20 minutes and then do nothing. Right. It's time to kick this thing off. It's been two weeks since we read about the five. And you know what? It's been exciting. Okay, I don't want to sound like annoying, but if someone of a reveal trailer. is clearly... English is not their first language. Why don't they have an English speaker in America? Because they want to have like the creators of the game, you know? I guess. Is that a creator though? Yeah, I guess. I didn't read the title. <laughs> I didn't read their title. I didn't either, so I just assumed he wasn't. I have to say though, I really like the Frostbite engine. It's a very nice looking engine. Oh yeah, Battlefield 1 looks... Gorgeous. One looks good. Like everything that they've been making, even FIFA has looked a lot better since they switched over to to uh, Frostbite. Because now literally yeah. every game they do is Frostbite. Oh, that's pretty cool. It patches to that. I mean, I'm never going to play it, but that's pretty cool. That's another thing I really like about Frostbite, is that it's 100%, well, it can be 100% destructible environment. As they rip through those buildings. <clears throat> Which, when they announced FIFA was going to Frostbite, everyone was like, Oh, you can destroy the stadium now? That's pretty great. 
You could have those Brazilian crowds go crazy when their team loses and start burning cars and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Star says, stop making Battlefield. <laughs> I know, right? The fact that they actually killed the um, Dead Space dev because they made a bad Battlefield game is like, oh. <laughs> they, they just love destroying all of their studios that do good games when they make a game they didn't want to make. <laughs> Real and relatable people facing the brutality of war. We start this off by a They're on their real and relatable roller coaster ride again. The Xbox briefing tomorrow. Thanks, but there's something not to miss tomorrow. So a launching of the like, e EA has a knack for making something like this, which could be totally interesting, very uninteresting. Yeah. Like the way they present things is it, so it's very textbook. business. Yeah. 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 It has no flair character to it, no personality. And it's even like robots. Ubisoft where they go off the other end and make everything too crazy and put giraffes on stage. At least that's entertaining to watch. <laughs> but like this yeah. this is very this is very dry. Wait, what was that? Wait, did they say Battle Royale? Oh yeah, they did. They did say Battle Royale. Yay. Count me in, dude. I want them loot boxes. The question is... Who's gonna do it better? Call of Duty... Or Battlefield? Star says, wait, Telltale Battlefield? <laughs> With the characters we care about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Fighting across multiple maps and modes. Welcome to your next Battlefield experience. Hashtag your, your first look. At ground operation. Hashtag EA Play. <laughs> Featuring music. Hashtag. Uh, then they show the game. trailer. It's just FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> Heather is asking, where is season two of Wolf Among, Among Us or Game of Thrones? I know, right? Those are so good. Well, those are coming. Uh, Not Game of Thrones, but Wolf Among, Among Us 2 is coming. Ooh, trailer. That was that was very good, even though I never finished it. A hammer. Oh no, you're spoiling it for me. <laughs> I haven't seen the hammer yet. <laughs> that yeah, ruins everything. It's a little mini Thor. Have you seen the pictures of Thor holding a normal oh, hammer? hammer? Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> hey, knowing the directors they have now, maybe in the next movie we'll get that. Pro there's probably going to be a scene where he's just using a normal hammer. <laughs> just like, me <"Mule> <laughs> It's just a normal hammer. <laughs> Oh, but I really like the... I. It's definitely not a game I like to play, but I love the scope of Battlefield, like how it's like huge. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool. It looks like something I would want to play, but then whenever I try it, I'm like, nope. Hey, that's what happened with Battlefield 1. I tried it, and then I was like, I don't like it. Or Battlefield 1, rather. They are copying Metal Gear Solid 3 by dropping Snake off a bridge. Oh, exclusive first look during e the Xbox briefing. Get out of here. Are they not going to show anything? No. It's for X-Bone. Because X-Bone has nothing to show. It's true. Let's be real. <gasps> here we go, 30 minutes of FIFA. <laughs> oh, look at those. Sh look at that grass. Look at that rain. Look at that crying when I, man. When I'm playing FIFA, I'm really looking hard at the grass to see if it's realistic. I know, right? This is the thing. FIFA is fun, but no one cares. <laughs> That's why I only, if I ever play, I only play the demo. <laughs> That's the trick, everyone. Get the demo if you like FIFA. Don't ever buy the game, because you can just play the demo forever and you get like 20 teams. Oh no, not the Brazilian guy. Uh, is he the cover hey, this year? Please don't tell me he's the cover. 
What's <laughs> the last thing? music in there. Because he's trash. Anyway. Kai says, you got to upgrade the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it, you have to pay for DLC to upgrade the hammer. <laughs> yeah, you get... You get... For, uh, licensed Marvel Thor hammer DLC. <laughs> Only fifty nine ninety nine. <laughs> What? <laughs> what is this? Hey, a little <laughs> trophy. Why? Why do they have the trophy there? That's the UEFA Champions League, the pinnacle of what club face? football, where the world's best <laughs> and oh my players word. like Gerard and Kroos cemented their legacies. The world's biggest league. Okay, so we both of these guys are executive producers of FIFA. And a special thanks to the legendary Hans Zimmer and LA's own Hans Zimmer collaborating with us on the trailer. What? And I really love the trailer. No, that was like some hip hop beat in the back. What are you talking about? Did Hans Zimmer just debut his hip hop album? tell you a little bit more about that. As Aaron said, the UEFA Champions League is an amazing addition. Get on with it, EA. No, this is they usually do 30 minutes of FIFA and then 30 minutes of Madden and then 30 minutes of NBA. <laughs> oh my word, they oh they they added their Champions League. Whoa. I mean, technically if you're a fan, that's a big deal because that's been the only thing that uh, Pez has, you know, the Konami soccer game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Has over uh, FIFA, so now Pez is useless. Live and authentic Champions League content, and we'll share more details on that along with all our other Ultimate Team features. Hans Zimmer spits fire. Just the beginning. Oh no, needs more wine. Yeah, you you gotta. Usually people like to do the drinking game with the FIFA. <laughs> press conference game with fifa with no not fifa with the ea press conference of every time they show something that is sport or that people don't care about you drink <laughs> oh darn it dude i should have uh i'm almost out i should have you could have done that oh that would have been funny <laughs> yeah is that well who knows funny but definitely you'll you would get really drunk <laughs> you'll be wasted by the end Experiencing the game on the hands-on sessions. Or, <laughs> it would be even better if it was one drink <laughs> per minute that they talk about sports. And that's our FIFA 19 news headline. Oh, that's it? Wow, that was fast. I wanted to take a minute to pause. Oh my word, they're looking at the trophy. Oh. <laughs> a trophy, dude. I've never seen a trophy. You know, growing up. There's two icons. Oh, I dream of winning this one. He's talking oh, yeah. about his history. <laughs> the pursuit of Champions League glory. But for your country, <sighs> it's this trophy. Oh. Oh, now we're talking about FIFA 18. <laughs> Going back in time. And with the tournament starting in just five days. See, when you thought it was over, they start talking about the previous game. <laughs> Why, though? Why? Because of FIFA World Cup. Of the World Cup. Update. And we want to celebrate with FIFA 18 players, which is why we've just like done a competitive the mode. The free World Cup experience. No, it, they instead of making a separate game where you have to pay like 60 bucks to get the FIFA World Cup, they're just adding an update to FIFA 18 for free. Oh, okay. And people are going crazy because before they had to buy like everything. So EA is like mm, screwing you over a little less right now. Yeah, they're they're being nice now. They're playing the nice kids because of the the Battlefront 2 disaster. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna give you a game that we usually you know made you pay sixty dollars for. We're giving it to you for free. <laughs> we're we're the cool kids again. <laughs> oh my word, you can celebrate with your people. Oh. <laughs> That clapping, though. Kai says, I would be tipsy even before the beginning. <laughs> yeah, just from the cringy pre-show. Pre Me too. <laughs> when are they going to add loot boxes to FIFA? Star, you're in luck because they've had loot box in FIFA for three years already. <laughs> for what? So you can, for your, your team, your ultimate team, I don't know what it's called. You can get cards for the players that you want. 
So you like it's literally like cards for players, and you use those players to build your team when you're playing online. Uh, shows how much I play FIFA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one cares. I only know this because <laughs> the only reason I actually know this is because I watched the the E3 press conference. <laughs> And because the only time I ever play it, it's the demo, and it's like, you know, what? <laughs> she scared me. <laughs> uh, oh, you got to see the cards there for a second. So apparently they're selling cards for the World Cup, too. Yeah, so you get to see the cards with the stats, and you get like a pack with like five of them. But usually you just get repeats. <laughs> That's what I've heard from the experience. Free trial demo. I'm gonna download that and never no, buy the game. Not this guy. Save oh, it's himself. <laughs> oh my god. It's the <laughs> James it's Bond the bad guy. <laughs> it's the devil. Dude. Yeah, it's the assistant devil because the devil himself has uh, left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. FIFA 2020. I, you can now see the guy's nose hair. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Um, we've got so much to do here today, but I want to welcome you to EA. But yeah, I kind of miss the devil. The devil's son is not nearly as fun as the devil. But yeah, I I loved how he had like the he had like the goatee and like the pointy ears and the bald head. He had that look. Yeah, he did. Oh yeah, these guys are the devils, and then Ubisoft has the the James Bond villain <laughs> for their CEO. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. There's too many evil people in this group. Mm. The only ones that don't have evil, well, then you have this Marmy guy with uh, Xbox, where he's yeah, always looking. Yeah. Like it. <laughs> and then you have oh, Tiny Hands Man left PlayStation. He was my favorite guy with his tiny hand. <laughs> I want to slap a controller on my phone. Yes, I do. You know, the best experience. <laughs> you know, especially since they're like all sitting in the living room. I know, right? Instead of. Why if you want to show that, show it on the go. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's because it probably needs good Wi-Fi to work, <laughs> so it's yeah. like, oh, you need to be at home. Hey, maybe just buy a Switch. No, oh, it's a future thing, it's not a... And we started subscription a number of years ago. Oh, they're talking about their subscription now. And experience the joy of being able to have full access to a Hey, he checks the uh, he checks the uh, Today, teleprompter. <laughs> he's actually checking it quite often now. So three he's he's losing confidence. Oh, they're adding a new PC games. A new tier? Yeah, and listen to Then FIFA 19, Battlefield 5, and of course Anthem. And there'll be many more titles in the years to come. Second, you get access to the vault. Our oh. library. Yeah, it is a new tier. From EA and other publishers. And third, <laughs> Pay, dude. give us more money. <laughs> That's a little later in the year, but if you want to get started right now and experience the benefits dude, and joys of the He is teleprompting at like 90% now. <laughs> He's teleprompting at 90 miles an hour. Thank you and have a great show. Show me. Oh, game. wow. That's all? Okay. EA, hello. Show us a game. No, they need to show an ad for their EA access. Oh, is it just one membership? Did they... I, I think I might have messed that up. Maybe it is just one thing for everything. Batman? Batman. <laughs> Why is Batman there? The Batman games are on there. Oh, oh. Oh, so I guess they're doing kind of like the Xbox Game Pass, so you just get yeah. all the games. Okay. Sims. <laughs> I'd be hyped for Plants vs. Zombies 3. <laughs> Kappa. I heard that they're pretty good. <laughs> Surprisingly. <clears throat> never played it, never gonna play it, but hey. Hey, everybody! No. Oh. <laughs> 
inside the crowd at EA Play. Inside the crowd. <laughs> Oh no, it's respawn, dude. I'm feeling great. I love this stuff. I love seeing new games. I mean, someone's. I love this stuff. Uh, Give me the thousand yeah. dollars you promised me. <laughs> so, um, you guys have seen that uh, Vince was tweeting yesterday, and there has been a bunch of speculation. Mm. So, uh, well, you want to just get right to it? Sure. They're trying to make them more relatable by putting them in the audience. Yeah, because that means stuff. something. It's amazing. The teams are kicking ass. But Good bit. we wanted to bring a little But yeah, respawn is actually pretty cool because they're the original studio that created Call of Duty. And they were the guys making Call of Duty when Call of Duty was still good. Oh, you guys <laughs> and innovated. I bet you the, the internet is going wild right now. I hope so. <laughs> I'm going wild. <laughs> This guy seems really pumped about his own game. Oh, they're making a Star Wars game. Okay, okay. So does that mean I get to like hold a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Well, it takes place during the dark times, trying to be a little. When the Jedi's, it's when Jedi, the Jedi's dude. Are being hunted, so it's Even JT knows. <laughs> Even JT. And I hate Star Wars, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we ban her from the show? I know, right? Just ban everyone from. Just end the yay show. It's not a nice. It's a dark time. It's a dark time. Oh my word! Just please end this. The guy's dying. They're but it's so, and she can't even come up with anything interesting to say. All right, so I think people are now anxiously want to know, like, what when can we play the game? Uh, it will be holiday of next year. Oh, okay. great. Yay, I'm excited. So, sorry to dash any hope. And then we're not going to see any footage? Now that we know I hope we're going to see footage. Show me footage. And, uh, Show me the footage. <laughs> They should not have announced that if they don't even have a speck of footage to show. Yeah, like, it's literally the opposite of what you should do during E3. That's... Uh, <laughs> Star uh, says, well, time to forget about it until then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My name is Dennis. I work Hi, Dennis. Stockholm on Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, really he does not look comfortable on stage. Today, so yeah. So I feel bad for people who are, have to do this. So yeah, really it's... Don't like it. Yeah, and it's hard, too. Just, like, especially if you're, like, a guy that... You know, you love working in front of the computer. You love, you know, being there and just doing that. And then you have to be in front of thousands of people. <gasps> Look, it's cards just like in FIFA and just like in loot boxes. We to completely overhaul our progression system and add a bunch of new character cosmetics for players to collect instead. So from there... We added a new hunt mode inspired by the original... Uh, stop with the Battlefront games. Starting Play the original, says Kaya. <laughs> Star Wars Ultimate Team, says so Star, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, I love that uh, now that they, they made the loot boxes cosmetic, but when they launched Battlefront 2, they were like, no way we would ever make uh, cosmetic loot boxes because people wouldn't want that. So that's why we made the... Um, you know, the actual game affecting loot boxes where your abilities change with loot boxes. But then, you know, now they have skins. <laughs> so it's like, oh. oh. <laughs> so looking forward a little bit, this summer we will be introducing a new squad system to the game. Oh, we get to, to, we get to play as the Han Solo that everyone hated. <laughs> yeah. Also adding a new Starfighter mode focused around dogfighting with your hero ship. I think it's such a mistake for them to be making a Star Wars movie every year. <laughs> it's such a mistake. Apparently, Han Solo movie is losing a ton of money. No one's interested. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. And we kind of predicted this would happen. Yeah. The magic of Star Wars is being lost because of how many things they're making. <laughs> and people are learning. Yeah, they're you know, just... Isn't that great? Yep. And they're repetitive. They're repetitive and they come out every year. Like, you can't be excited for something that happens every year. <laughs> Except for Christmas, I guess, and your birthday. <laughs> but. But yeah, it's too much. 
it's oversaturated for sure it's disney dude there's no such thing as oversaturation in our oh it's uh it's grievous yeah grievous grievous or whatever I hold the multiple star of the swords. <laughs> I actually really liked his design. <laughs> He's cool looking, but uh, you know, it's it's battlefront. And and that's the thing too. In the main movies, like he was cool in like the cartoon, but in the main movies, he has like a cough <laughs> and he sucks. <laughs> that's his uh, Achilles heel, dude. His character development. Yeah, he has a cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a robot cop too, right? Yeah, Isn't it yeah. like kind of mechanically? Or mechanically? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're adding Anakin. Oh. <laughs> People are going to get so tired of Star Wars in like the next five years. Like completely tired. are committed to Battlefront. We had a rough start, but I really think that this game has a bright I'm sorry that you think this game has a bright future. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you are delusioned. Greatest game that we can possibly build. There would be no battlefront with Oh no. Star says I've slept through all the Star Wars movies. Hey, 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 he should have done the symbol. May the force be with you. May, may the force be with you. <laughs> Oh, what is this? It's water. It's a boat with no driver. Oh. Ooh, it's ooh, it's yarn. Uncharted Unraveled five. Oh, it is yarny. <laughs> Unraveled I, two. Un Unravel two. Bioshock. <laughs> we are gonna get to see Bioshock this year. <laughs> yarny Bioshock Infinite. Dude, yarny Bioshock three. I really wanted to play this game, I just never did. Me too. Oh, the guy that presented it. Uh, oh, it was so... It was, like, adorable, though. Yeah, the guy you was know, shaking, sad. showing his little plush. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. all. <laughs> I would get a plush of Yarny. Really yeah, I would, I would get one, too. And give EA all the money. <laughs> is this him again? I think it is. Oh, it is him, it is him. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't... <laughs> Uh, oh, he. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. It's okay. You can do it. You can do it. You guys. got it. You got it, dude. They don't even show his name. Did they show his name? I don't think so. Such disrespect. The most charismatic person in their presentation, and they don't even give. <gasps> Two player! <laughs> and you form a new bond. Ooh. Wait, a co-op one? Yeah, co-op, dude. And it leads you off on an adventure. Aha, I get you. I got it, dude. I got it. Unravel two. Unravel two. Aw, these games. These games are. It's a game. You need a metal star. And second chances. These two little souls refuse to give up, and will build something new and beautiful together. And the whole game is inspired. That, that is one thing. Like, I don't like EA, but they do have nice indie developers working See, for them. It's all made to be yeah. played with two characters. Like, Unravel was great. <clears throat> Faye was great. Although the name is terrible because Fee. <laughs> it's the game called Fee. And working together to get through this adventure. Star says, this is so much better than FIFA. This is a reawakening of EA. Imagine if EA's press conference were all games like this, with people that actually care, <laughs> instead of just the business people talking. It's like, and we think it's, uh, worthy so great. And I want to show it to you now, so I, I brought some help. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh no. Ooh, oh boy. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it extra sad? Uh, I don't like live on stage demos. They usually don't work, <laughs> especially yeah, for EA <laughs> yeah. and Activision and Microsoft. Microsoft, the number of blue screens Microsoft gets. Um, uh oh, we're getting. Uh oh, <laughs> what, what is this? There we are. Leaks, leaks. Then <laughs> we know the secret. <laughs> oh, they're hugging. <laughs> Actually, pick up the other character and carry them along through the more fast-paced segments of the game. This is such a gorgeous we game. Try to include a bit more of those because we figured that since it's a co-op game, we wanted to have more like 
thrill and danger and kind of wow moments. Uh, places that were like fun and exciting. <laughs> With new challenge, turkey down, following you. <laughs> the turkey wants the juice, he wants to eat you. <laughs> I actually really like That's this. I just was. Yeah, I, I do too. I would play this. I would play this. Dude, we should do it co-op. <laughs> yeah, apparently the first game was short, but it was pretty good. Oh, you got to distract it. That's pretty interesting. That's a cool mechanic. Like, I think that there are pretty interesting ways they could use it. Uh, Celebra celebratory flip. There. That was like a pretty simple use of it, but. <clears throat> and the bird is back. <laughs> playing it, playing it safely now. Oh, they're awkward. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. They're trying their best. And I'll catch you. I. I mean, hey, if it was me, I'd be so nervous, I wouldn't be able to play on stage. I would be shaking. <laughs> Just be falling like, uh, into the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really cool that you can, like, swing off of each other, too. Yeah, it is. Okay, You're connected by the bond of friendship, dude. Oh, the bond of friendship! <laughs> the ship that never sinks. The yarn that never unravels. <laughs> Don't let it get you. <laughs> Sweet, well done. Okay, I'll I'll go up and distract the grouse. It's turkey time. The Double only go. bad part of this game is that I have to support EA to get it. <laughs> hey, I keep him over to the left, dude. Now I'll go. Now what? Now what? Now what? Yo, those oh, trees are that. actually really tiny, says so Star. Yeah, some of the trees are very small. What were you saying? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing. nothing. <clears throat> turkey! Now Get wrecked. Yeah, oh, did the turkey die? Oh. <laughs> ah, turkey. So lame. So that's a, that's a quick little look at the Unravel Yay. Uh, and, uh, Yeah, I, I, I really hope you like it. And, I like uh, his McDonald's colored nails. Go, I send and I like that he's wearing red. Working on this game has Best been color. A, a completely amazing team effort and so many levels and everybody has worked so hard. So there's, there's a bunch of us from Coldwood here and, and thank you to those and thank you to everybody back home. And uh, hey, who, who do you point to? Show me. I think Show it's me. his family. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I want to, dude. I want a plushie of of, of the Arnie. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Have any of you guys played Unraveled? <clears throat> oh, it's the light of friendship. I got it now. When they connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Light the came. spark came back. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Chase your spark. AKA your friendship. Play on your own or with a friend. And this goes into like that thing that you were saying that you don't like when they force you to play with another person, but yeah. when they give you like a good option to play alone. Levels look cool too. Yeah. And they do texture so well, like it looks so good, everything just. Oh. Ooh. First time I've heard of it. Definitely worth looking into it, especially the first one. It's a short game, so know that. Especially if you, you know, depending on the price, maybe wait for a sale. But everyone really enjoyed it. I didn't get to play it either, but I really want to. And maybe the two, the one with two people, will be the one. Thank you, Martin. And the brilliant team at okay, Mr. Great. Robot, no one cares about you. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Robot man. Okay, now that we talked about something really cool, let's talk about Madden. <laughs> but what's even more amazing is that we will make Unravel 2 available to everyone today. Oh, it's available today. That's awesome. Ooh. That's pretty cool. 
these two Yarnies on their next big adventure starting today. The game. <laughs> guy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm glad someone's happy for that game. Back in 2015, we started on this journey with the original. Oh no. Oh good. No, no, no. This is good. This is good. And bring them into our EA original program. It's been our way of helping these creators bring the unique. You don't have to explain that you're helping them every year. <laughs> Just show what they the want to make themselves feel good or look good to people. Oh yeah, they did a way out with the crazy man. And I think we all kind of remember that. Um, and you might even remember <laughs> the Game Awards. Oh, dude, that guy. <laughs> you might even remember the Game Awards. I remember. <laughs> dude, you could put a little more emotion in that. You were going for a joke, and it didn't even compute, you know? It, it was, was like, so robotic. You can even remember er, in the Game Awards. Even I remember I saw him at the Game Awards show. Haha. Stories like this drive our industry, and it's why we will continue to work with independent developers to help them realize their dreams. Which leads us to help them realize their dreams. We're announcing Dreams is now an EA game. <laughs> when I met this team and I saw the game, I was instantly drawn to how personal this story was. It's one that powerful, He's, powerful important and message. important message. He says things that if someone that really cared was saying it, it would sound good, but yeah. <laughs> he has no his delivery is Absolutely awful. Yeah. Oh, this look. I think I heard of this game. Oh no. Thank you, Patrick. I feel bad. Uh oh. <laughs> See, it's people that care, you know. <laughs> During the pitch, uh, how enthusiastic Patrick was, and that afterwards, like our whole team, including me, were super excited. It actually feels a little bit the same right now. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Maybe a okay. little too excited. You can do it. <laughs> you got this. Thank you. <laughs> we are Yomai, a small indie game studio from Berlin, and we are developing Sea of Solitude. Or uh -huh, I get it. Oh, I didn't hear what? From Sea of Solitude or SOS. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Let me tell you more about our game. When humans get too lonely, they turn into... Bloodborne. This Bloodborne 2, an EA game. <laughs> we will see, hear, and hopefully feel while playing SOS. What makes this underlying concept so important and so unique is that nearly every human being Dude. at least somehow relate to or remember the feeling of being lonely. In my case, I started writing the story. Oh, dude, alone. she's too relatable. I'm feeling I uncomfortable. It's yeah, it's like these people that put their lives into their games, and it's like, like this is uh, actually someone who's um, individually amazed. creating a work of art. How yeah, like it's not a FIFA 19. <laughs> and that's the thing, right? It's people's jobs, and sure, like, but, but like on the business side, you don't need to create a FIFA every year or anything. But like games like these, it's it's, not it's like people are putting like who they are they're putting in a fantastic setting. yeah it's it's a piece of art in SOS, yeah it's just try to show how people experience different kinds of loneliness but also how outsiders friends and family see those who struggle we achieve all this in playful ways so that players who wants to simply enjoy a fantastic experience can do so but player who wants to look a bit deeper can reveal a whole emotional world beneath it all. Sea of Solitude is about a young woman named Kay who is suffering from such strong loneliness that her inner feeling, the darkness, the anger, the hopelessness, worthlessness, turns to the outside and she becomes a monster. The game is about finding out why this happened to her, mm. but also <coughs> how to turn her back into a human. Ultimately, the goal is to bring all those emotions into balance. Balance in the force. To become bigger. <laughs> Star Wars confirmed. 
This is the new Battlefront to game. Embrace even your destructive part or your self-doubt in the same way you embrace your joy or your hope. I think she would be really good to have a conversation with. Yeah, she would have a lot of very interesting things to say. <laughs> Is this real? In this world that I live in, it's empty and cold. The loneliness cuts me. And touches my soul. Hmm. This looks pretty cool. I like I like I like this. Yeah, I do too. I've just chased you so long now. I love the art I'm really liking the art style too. Yeah, and the uh, creature designs are really cool. Yeah. This looks like a Journey-esque game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks great. I'm gonna keep this one in mind. And no, back to Madden. Jumped. Oh my god. It is. <laughs> well, it's not Madden, but it's, it's and whatever. It's Madden. NBA. <laughs> you yeah, know. Let's cut, let's cut from a personal story about like depression to basketball. Great follow-up, EA. <laughs> Ten out of ten. <laughs> oh my god. They're so brain dead. Like, they don't understand. Uh, what they should have done is... I think it's better to put all of these together. Just put all of these together and then leave, like, leave, like, the next areas for, like... All the good like, stuff. Like, they're separating, them separating it is an acknowledgement of how tedious it is to watch. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do is to, you know. <laughs> so just don't show it, dude, just don't. Come on. Is it like, no one can like, it, no one's gonna write articles about this. They don't need yeah. to put it in the presentation for people to write, there's a new FIFA coming, there's a new NBA coming. Yeah, there's a new <laughs> Yeah, I mean, no one cares. Everyone knows these are like they didn't show anything new. <laughs> oh, now we're on to see. They didn't show anything new. <laughs> they don't have to show it. I oh. play Madden as an esport career, Omega Wall, <laughs> and I look like a brat. <laughs> he he reminds me of Ninja the way he looks. Ninja is a brat. <laughs> Poor Ninja. He suffers enough. He doesn't get billions of dollars. He doesn't get enough money. No, I'm gonna give this a hard pass. It's so weird to me that sports games... Like, and I, I mean, like, to each their own, right? But, like, to me, it's weird that... Sports games are esports as well. Like it seems so weird <laughs> that like a game about a real sport or is a sport is like I I'm just oh no oh no oh a no hype man a hype man in the building. <laughs> oh, he's the champion. Okay. Wow, already starting. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Juju Smith Schuster from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, as you guys can see, King of Touchdown celebration. That is pretty fire. That's what pretty is fun. the picture? No, oh, it's because he's doing the Hadouk and thing. Madden 18, Madden champion. I'm giving him up, dude. Give it up, young kid. Giving up my ghost, my spirit, you know? <laughs> Getting sucked in. <laughs> oh man, you remember what game we were talking about before this one? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> It was NBA Live. <laughs> when I was in high school, I was playing baseball. I hurt my arm. So then I picked, I picked up Matt, and I was really at bad first, at first. I was really bad. I was getting blown out online, but I kept at it. I put more and more time into it. Eventually, I made my first tournament, but I had a big decision. There was <clears> you know, like, wow, it's okay. good. Good for you, man. But like, I don't think EA needed to bring him onto the stage. <laughs> That's number one. Number two. 
You said you had the decision to, be to, uh, to go to your graduation or go to a Like, I think it's pretty cool that if anyone can ever make a living off of eSports, like, that's awesome. It doesn't really matter the game. But, like, don't... The guy I, clearly is not, like, meant for, you know, stage presentation. <laughs> I know you had some ups and downs. It's been tough. I've had a lot of devastating losses. I've been so close so many times. Blown I out. I the final on TV and got blown out. But all those losses made me gain a That's lot of That's how I got this belt, Pat, Pat. That's awesome. <laughs> like, so okay, dude. Awesome. I'm, I'm checking out. My brain's leaving. <laughs> are, you, are you drinking one? <laughs> no. For the, for the Madden? <laughs> drinking water, but I wish I could turn the water into wine here. Maybe EA can do it for me. <laughs> well, if EA could do it, they would turn <laughs> your water into money so that you could buy FIFA. He took his belt, what? <laughs> yeah, he took it. Alright, okay. I'm gonna pee real quick. Alright, alright. some moments like these. To the very top of the mountain. Are any of you guys interested in Madden 19 or NBA 19? <laughs> oh, yeah, football! Cracks a. I, I can't, I don't even know the terminology that people use for that. <laughs> Dude, we're getting oh. a cinematic football. <laughs> oh yeah, football's still going on. Yeah, dude. And they're being it's... very And then Bane shows up and is like, yeah! <laughs> And the stadium falls down. Blows <laughs> up. The power I give back to you, the people. The people! Totally, says guy of sips wine. I asked if anyone was interested in this. In what? In Madden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sweat oh. that I'll never see because I'll never be close to the characters. Exactly. General Manager Michael Martinez. Where's Duke wow. Nukem? He likes football, Sid. Wait, what are we doing? A little bit differently and give you your first look. At a brand new mobile the guy on the game left uses uses Winner take all. Mobile game. <laughs> sure thing. The objective is straightforward. Destroy the opponent's base to win. Oh no! It, it's another one of those Clash Royale games. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Wait, is this like a foot? No, okay. For a second there, I, l I thought that one of the soldiers was like a football guy. I thought this was a Madden strategy game. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. <laughs> I don't blame you, Kaya. <laughs> he lost me at mobile game, says Star. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an awesome matchup lined up for you here today. Oh, no. Fighting for the blue side of the room. If you could please oh. give a cheer for one of the most formidable RTS players there is. Uh, Make some noise okay. for I'm in clapping. Control. I'm clapping. Oh, boy. Dude, my hero. Taimu? Oh, dude. <laughs> His opponent fighting for the red side of the room. A competitive mobile gaming phenomenon. Please Nick join at me and night. Stage. Nick yeah, at oh, night. my second hero. <laughs> Nick at night. <laughs> Trademark. Clash of the now, Titans. It's going to be a real mean? clash of these gaming styles yeah, and the competitive backgrounds that these players have. It should be a great Man, match. Man, they're, tr they're trying really hard to sell this to us. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying so hard, they're stepping all over themselves. All right, let's kick this off. Uh, Nice little strategy game for those yes. of you out there. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? This is awful. Why would you do this? Show Anthem your tools. <laughs> this is what they're wasting their presentation time with. What? What? <laughs> Look at this! 
top side also very important as Nick at Knight's forces have to circle around the center. Right, let's see if he's able to create a two on one. Is he able to get there? Wow. I'm enthralled. I'm enthralled, dude. I don't, I don't get it. Do they not understand what makes an E3 presentation interesting to people? Like, no one is going to be talking about this. I'm not even- I don't remember the name of the game and I'm watching it right now. <laughs> and also, this is not the type of game you showcase gameplay. I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> like, the whole idea of E3 is that you have to wow people, right? You have to, like, get their attention because... People need to be talking about you instead of the other big thing. I and think, like, EA probably literally has so little to show they have to shoehorn crap like this in. I mean, they don't have anything. They The only game, because they closed all their studios, they closed the one that was making the big Star Wars game with Amy Hennig yeah. that everyone was yeah. excited for. The only game they have is Anthem, and it's kind of like a, a second party game because it's... Um, it's uh, Bioware. It's not even them. <laughs> Good, I didn't miss anything, says Kai. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like... You missed everything. You missed that one time when In Control had that questionable move against Nick at Night. Yeah, it's true. Nick at Night is not being able to hold his ground. He's losing ground here, and you can see that In Control is taking... No, Nick at Night! Nick at Night's taking over the lower one, but Nick at Night took a blow to his base! <laughs> Wow. But yeah, like, the only game they really have is Anthem. That's the only game they have. How long is this? Hello? Also, mobile games, and now I'm gonna harp on this game, now since they're showing it to us, I might as well. Mobile game, you get, like, two minutes to play. If you're in the bus, if you're in the car, if you're in the train, you're, like, you're not gonna play for, like, 20 minutes. This is already too long. <laughs> I would not play, even if I enjoyed this, if I thought this looked cool, I wouldn't play this on mobile, because this is already a little bit too in-depth for me to want to play on mobile. It takes no too much time. Play. No one's gonna play this. Like, the most successful one that does this, I think, is like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale. I, I forget the name. I tried it for a little bit, but the thing is, it's fun because it's short, the matches are over in like a couple minutes, it's not too in-depth, it's very easy to play. And like, yeah, that's exactly what I, the type of game I want when I'm on the go. I, I just want Dude, something simple. But look at the even, mess. <laughs> they're not even close. One of them has to die. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at this mess. <laughs> it's like, what? Kai <laughs> says, oh no, I'm... <laughs> to what you said she missed. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, they're making this even longer. <laughs> now they, they're all evened up. Are you serious right now? If Big Control can get this in position, he's going to do some serious damage. No one on the planet is interested. No one. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is horrible. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Guys, isn't this the best mobile game? Amazing. <laughs> Dying. I just came to make mammoth tanks, so I've, I've done my job. Yeah, absolutely. That was awesome. We saw a little bit. I just came to get my check. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Make a night and in control. What a play, says Star. And gentlemen, what you just best game ever, says Kyle. So everyone approves it. <laughs> it is the best game ever. Rivals reimagined. Oh no. Experience for mobile. For another mobile, another mobile game. And they're ruining a good strategy game while putting it on mobile. And strategy. Now rivals are coming to iOS and Android devices, but I'm excited to announce that Android players can play the pre-alpha today. So I'm sleeping here. Oh.
The studio has this is so boring. Blast playing this game. And Entertain me, me. as they say. Thank you. <laughs> a scorpion. Is this Anthem? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is just Command oh and Conquer. Oh my god. Oh my word, it's just... Oh, it's a CG trailer for... Why didn't you show this first? It's Why a... are you doing this after? This is more just... exciting than the game. <laughs> yeah, just show this and then end it and then cut. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, these dumb people. I just want to see Anthem. <laughs> They're gonna make eye contact? Okay, it's on, baby. Oh boy, look, there's there's a thingy in the ground, a Transformer. It's Transformers! It's Transformers! <laughs> oh no, he fell to his knees. He's distraught. <laughs> and then we cut the flame in-game graphics. And then you then see how back. crappy it looks. A bald bearded man shows up out of nowhere <gasps> and then stops. It's Devil Man. <laughs> Oh, this is. Com I thought they were announcing another mobile game. This, that was Command and Conquer. <laughs> okay. Devil Man, you're back. Good. <laughs> no more final. <laughs> Show me anthem, please. Hey, hey, dude. How much did that watch cost? Thing? All right. It cost a thousand employees' souls. <laughs> Probably, it's probably a, a Rolex, or whatever they're called. A Rolex? What are they Rolex? called? Rolex. And as you play games this week, there's some things we hope come through. First, that at the very core is choice. Is that you as players get to choose how you play, what you play, when you play, and what devices you play. Uh, uh, dude, I don't feel treated fairly by your presentation, dude. Is this real? Given an unfair advantage or disadvantage, <laughs> For how they choose to play. That for every moment, Kai says at least the woman is cute. So much of your life Small victories. <laughs> Small victories with these presentations. You are rewarded and you are given value for that investment. And most importantly, that the games are fun. You know what? Small victories. I like the color of blue behind him. Who am I kidding? It's a good tone. They probably spent a lot of time thinking about that. He just said it's the games are about fun, but um, I feel like we're not getting any of that <laughs> from this presentation. If that's like your your company motto, I, I think you you've already failed, Mr. Devil. Mm. The devil's in the detail. Well, not in this case. He's just everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem. That's going to be the devil's downfall. Yeah, he's gotten too cocky. Play to give? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I buy that from EA. I buy that. Wait, what is this? I don't know. Oh, it's a charity. Okay, okay. Okay, I guess I can't make fun of it now. It's still EA. They're bad. <laughs> The sad Wait, thing is how, like, some of these companies only do charity to make them look good and not because they actually care about charity. <laughs> I'm, like, pretty certain every giant corporation don't give a crap. Yeah. I think that there's definitely some that do, but, like, eh, you know. At least like, the money is actually going to something good, you know? Like, yeah, it's, like, it's expected of them, though. Like, it's not, like... A bonus. Of it's like. And of you together doing but yeah, I'm, I'm happy yeah, that was... money is at least uh, some of their billions of dollars. Like a small fraction <laughs> is going to, to a good cause. You should. Okay, anthem. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. This is what we're here for, people. The gods vanished and left our world in chaos. Poggers, dude. Generic backstory. That's okay. Let me turn this up, I can hear it. Destroying. The anthem is all that remains. Show me the game. Here we go, here we go, here's some game. This looks very Destiny. Like, that's probably a town where you buy stuff. I'm okay with that? As long as I get to fly. <laughs> Show me the jetpacks, yes! 
Show me actual gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man drop. <laughs> Yeah, some monsters, dude. It wants to destroy us all. Vroom vroom. Dude, show gameplay. I think they're gonna show it after the trailer. How terrible would it be if they did just they just don't? <laughs> they just uh, stop it there. It wouldn't surprise me, dude. No, they have to. This doesn't even look good. Trailers look garbage. Like they just do. Oh, that was some Muse music, though. Okay, it's good now. It's good. <laughs> I think that was Muse in the background. <gasps> Praying Mantis Man saved him. Hey, or... it's Evolved. The next number two. <laughs> <laughs> evolved two. <laughs> it kind of did look like that at the it end did. there. All right. Show like me the, the game. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally going to play game. heavy if I play it. Wait, what is going on? They're training the classes, I think. Why Why are they trying to give me a headache here? A seizure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> See ya. That's it. Adios. You guys have seen it a couple times, and it's still cool every time I see it. It's so, not cool. I know all of you, like me, it. have had tons of questions about Anthem since last year. Because uh, we're all Bioware fans. So we're going to do something a little bit different for the rest of the show. Oh, and we're going to take a, a deep dive. Into Yay, deep dive. We're going to bring out some members of the Bioware team to chat with us. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, it's not a deep dive into the game. It's a deep dive into the dev. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, that can still be good. That can still be good. Oh, it's Casey Hudson. Woo. He's like the he's the big Bioware guy. Thanks guys, thanks for coming out today. Yeah, Got a little game to show, right? Yep. Well, it's gonna fun. be very exciting. So Casey, uh, we're gonna go so ahead awkward. and just jump right in and get started. Casey, nice. So now we know that you all started, or Casey, you started your career at Bioware way back in the day, but you <laughs> took a couple years off. But before you came back, you actually worked on Anthem before you left. Yeah, that's right. Um, so you know, first of all, it's amazing to be back. It's awesome to be making games for Bioware fans, you know, we have the best fans, uh, so it's been super satisfying to come back to it, and, you know, I just want to be able to continue the legacy of the studio, and that's kind of where it started. x really controllers. About, you know, what is the evolution of a Bioware game? And we wanted to create a brand new world for people to discover, you know, a whole new world of story and character, but we also wanted to do something that was, you know, more of a dynamic and living world. And the game that was I really like when they do, like, physical... They build physical props for things. Oh, dude, if I was a millionaire, you know how many props I'd own? A lot. really the initial vision of the game, not an MMO, not a We're getting all sorts of replicas. Oh. But something new and different. He said not an MMO, not a multiplayer game with story bolted onto it. Okay. The stories from BioWare, but I think we're kind of curious how you're planning to make story work in this shared world. So a great story for Bioware is really about characters that you can have a connection with, um, choices you get to make, and feeling like the story is about you. In a lot of multiplayer games, those things get diluted because you're mixing That's multiplayer true. and storytelling into the same areas. Now you can build a solution to that, but you have to really build it into the core of the game. Yes. You're saying the right thing. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's what we call our world, my story. So when you're out in the mm. open world, the world is really dangerous, and you're focused on your mission. Mm. And this is where other players get to play with you. The thing that's really interesting about this, that's unique for, uh, for Anthem, is that this is a living shared world. So whether there's weather, or uh, it's nighttime. Uh, you're you're starting, we're starting to lose track of the topic, dude. Together. Everyone's <laughs> playing Anthem <laughs> at, a, at a moment is seeing the same thing. Yeah. And this is what we mean when we talk about our world. It's a, it's a shared world that we all experience together. Yeah, it's called multiplayer, but then dude. when I finish my mission, I come back to a base like Fort Tarsus. Uh, and uh, it's a single player experience. Mm, my my uh, rewards, I talk no, to my characters, no. I experience the choices of my action. Not like this. And this is where your story really lives and breathes. And by doing it this way, we're able to combine that impact 
an agency of a single player story with the fun of teaming up with your friends to my worry was that is like what if one person takes a lot longer in the single player part and you're playing with friends yeah i'm is they want to continue to play in our worlds when they finished mass effect or dragon age players want more story and so we've designed anthem in a way that we can actually add more story for years to come and it could be anything a new moment with a character that you've grown to love or uh, an event in the world my guess is the story is, is the lore, so minimal it's embarrassing new storyline and plot well, I'm certainly not going to complain about more story. I don't think anybody out there is going to either. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, uh, from a writing perspective, since you are the lead writer, can you speak to what it's like to create a new world like Anthem from the beginning? Well, what's really exciting for us, um, and not just the writers, but all of the, the devs, the designers, the artists, is that we're creating something new and mysterious for players to discover. So this sounds like the original design, pitch for Destiny. <laughs> yeah, this unfinished by the gods. But the gods left by Oh my god, she's lead writer, dude. Look at this coming out of her mouth. With this unknowable force called the Anthem of Creation and the chaos Oh, that's not how narrative works. Um, means that the world is constantly being reshaped in new and unpredictable ways. Yeah, violent storms, mutated creatures, gigantic monsters. Mm. It's a dangerous environment that you Dude, it's just going to be Destiny. Armor, three. To, uh, <laughs> Destiny 3. Now, something I think a lot of players out there maybe don't stop to think about is just how much work goes into creating a new intellectual property or IP, as we've been saying. Now, you know, we've seen all these different creatures, and Mark, you mentioned the storms. What's the process of creating a game like from scratch? Yeah, it's something we've done a few times at Bio. That's an open-ended uh, question if I've ever heard one. Really, the hardest part is getting started, just kind of getting off the blank page. Uh, so what we try to do is we think about the new experiences that we're trying to unlock for players. So like, what is the fantasy fulfillment? What are the new things you actually get to go and do that are different from what you've played before? Fly with a jetpack. So that's what we do. <laughs> and then once we think about those things, I want to see gameplay though, because like they can make this sound as good or as bad just from talking. About I know, it. and it honestly doesn't sound that great. I want to see gameplay. Meant to bring out a certain experience, and then once we this is very PR responses. all the rest of the stuff, and what unlocks. Yeah, like they're not really saying anything one way or another specifically. and even the technology and the It's all very generic. New world, and then from there we can actually go and build out every last detail. Yeah, and one of the uh, unique challenges for Anthem is that it's a world, an experience that's meant to feel alive, like it's happening uh, right now. And so the world is always changing, um, whether the... Uh, yeah, they're, they're giving very general. Seasons. These are all very generic things, yeah. It's a great concept to write for because... Oh, no, we do. The There's no gameplay. <laughs> Well, I, this is all gameplay that we're watching, but they keep kind of... <laughs> yeah, the 10 second loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it makes me a bit worried that they're only showing concept art and 10 seconds a piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though yep. there's obviously a lot going on, it really all comes back to your character. It's a loop, dude. So let's talk it... about who we're going to be playing as and why we're fighting... This is contrived oh. to talk about everything except the actual game. ...to pilot these exo... Jet, these javelin exo suits and uh you need this is like to i don't have a product i have an idea world will kill you um but on top of that uh our ancient rivals the dominion have uh the dominion they, they've discovered a way they think to weaponize the anthem of creation and so um oh, well, we they're gonna to weaponize it to take over the world dude of tarsus now i've heard you call this power armor a couple so she asked she asked, like, who do you play as? What's your role? And she didn't answer. <clears throat> she said it's someone that can drive one of these things. Unique abilities. There's the Ranger, and then there's the Colossus. These are just clones of Destiny characters. And finally, the Storm. Yeah, they are clones. Yeah, so, uh, each Javelin gives you a different way to play the game. Uh, but the thing to remember is, like Kathleen said, you're not your suit. You are a freelancer, a pilot which means you can decide which suit you want to use based on your mood, based on the mission you want to engage okay, in. Okay, so you can use all of them? That yeah, so you don't, you can have be okay, any okay. class. So you're not tied down? Yeah. I'm tied? That's good. We built yeah. The suits to look like they're built from the materials of the world. 
uh, so they each have their own unique ability. So let's take a look at uh, the Ranger now. Okay, okay, the okay. More Here's some stage gameplay. Uh, able to, uh, to do a lot of different things, uh, use really designed for up close Very control, staged combat, gameplay. One-on-one uh, -on -one for the most part. The Colossus is heavier, more specialized, but able to really pack in big weapons that let them devastate. I like the Colossus. <laughs> This game's gonna get delayed. I'm saying it. Wait, it's they only showed two. There are four of them. <laughs> They're gonna get delayed. It's delayed. It's delayed. It's delayed. Awesome, but we're gonna take a couple questions right now. So Casey tweeted. Some of you may have seen asking for. There's no uh, way it's it's done at all. Questions, and the first one is gonna be from at it's sweet Nicole who asks, as a player who is all about making their character their own, what kind of customization options will be available in Anthem? Yeah, just cosmetic. Yeah, so we really want players to express themselves both through customizing the way. Please uh, not uh, DLC or purchasing and, uh, colors. But also being able to personalize the way that it looks. Uh, it's just cosmetic. It as well as changing the actual uh, geometry of the suit itself. We want teams to be able to do this as well. Mm. And because you're going to be using a javelin for a long period of time, we really want you to be able to make it your own. I'm glad you brought that up because actually, Jay Legato has a question connected to uh, these staged questions. Uh, this is awful, dude. Oh, 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 I want to know. Yeah, so, we are going to have uh, some cosmetic and vanity items that you'll be able to purchase, but you're always going to know what you're going to buy before you uh, spend any money on it. So, no Ooh. loot boxes, no ability to pay for power. So, that means yeah. that no ability to spend money. Uh, on but do you still have to pay for. Cosmetics. Hello? I hope it's not like Destiny where, like, a color you have to yeah, pay for. Yeah, and then there's, like, things you need. It's, yeah. That's the one color you have to pay for. <laughs> about the being a co-op experience. So can you tell me a little bit about that? <laughs> kind of says face desk. <laughs> it really is about, you know, the fun of teaming up as, as a team. Because having to pay to change the color of my thing, <laughs> it's like, so, come on. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, they don't have a game to show. This is exactly how college presentations go when you don't have something to actually show. You know, in melee combat, and then here you've got the ranger. <laughs> we would know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's from, Think of us when we did our senior sem. This is how we did it. Just talk about concepts. We talked about concepts and had like five seconds of footage. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything actually to show. <laughs> yeah, we had this great film idea. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. We also have like a page of script somewhere, you know, it's, it's there. Here's the thing, I think that like, obviously they were very general, but if it is anything like the what I'm thinking, it, it could be really cool if they made it right. Like, I think the having a more in-depth like first person thing, not first person, but like single player story thing could be interesting. Yeah. So I really hope that everyone at least gives co-op a try. Okay, that's good to but know. it's so general. <laughs> it's like uh. that's what I mean. That's why I think they don't have anything. Um. Well, I know you all are on the edge. Oh. Oh. Here we go. We show a little gameplay. Yay! Yeah. Gameplay. It's gonna be. Right. It's gonna be really short and stable. It's gonna be ten seconds. <laughs> there you go. Um, Goodbye. <laughs> you, you and your friends have decided to play a mission called Scars and Villainies. The Scars have put together an acid-based super weapon, so you gotta take them out. So you She's like, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she hates her own job. <laughs> we, we, have to there, there's these acid made. dudes we made up on the fly. <laughs> as, we, as we experience it here. Um, and yeah, then you just get into your javelin suit. And <laughs> then you just get into your friends. suit. You just get into your friends, yeah. talk to your suit, <laughs> just go. <laughs> Now, All right, let's see this. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I want to see this. I want to see how like the moment to moment is gonna be. It's gonna be so staged. Give me the money. I mean, it always is, but like at least you can get a little bit from it. Frostbite. Yeah, Cutscenes. Freelancer, time to get to work. Are they just gonna call me freelancer? <laughs> That's annoying, to be honest. So, find where they're making this garbage. I liked Commander Shepard. Can I have a name? Like, 
Potato oh, that looks fish. comfy. That looks really comfy. <laughs> And I want to see how vertical it is. This is incredibly linear. We'll see, we'll see. I want verticality because flying, you need verticality, man. Take a look around the area, but be careful. Yeah, I don't know. It lo looks like what I. Um, okay, different class. Easy class. Destructible environment. Okay, okay. This is, this is, this is some vertical. Yeah, this, this looks is... cool. These are like big. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, then we cut immediately, of course. I swear to God, this game is going to be delayed again big time. There's no way. This is gonna come out. I 100% do not believe this game is nearly ready. Like, they keep giving like 20 second cuts and that's it. If the reason is for cutting is not to bore us, I think <laughs> you should have cut everything else and not this gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, well, they, yeah, it's cutting really weirdly, dude. It's like, I don't know, it's suspicious, I think. See those radiant pieces of energy? They're echoes from the Anthem of Creation. Anthem of Creation? Dude, this sounds just like Destiny. Be careful. I mean, it is Destiny. That's what everyone hoped for, though, is that it would be better Destiny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the heck is... Combo! <laughs> Just combo <laughs> everything. <laughs> I don't like how cluttered the UI is. Mm -mm. Destiny 2 was clean, and it felt good. I actually don't have a problem with it, because like, I feel like it's kind of you in the mech and seeing the HUD of the mech. I, maybe, maybe. Like, at least that's how I feel when I'm looking at it. I kind of like sometimes being cluttered. I definitely don't like it in like a game like Last of Us or stuff like that. Yeah. But like I enjoy, I really enjoyed the the cluttered hut of the Fallout. Uh, uh, yeah, let's do it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. On the plus side, this definitely counts toward hazard pay. There's a train of this. Yeah, it definitely is. Follow it. Dude, that, it it's very so much weird. like in the Destiny wheelhouse, and this is kind of what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted a Destiny that a you can fly in, <laughs> and hopefully has a better story. And that's not what we're gonna get to see from this. I'm sure the gameplay is solid. I do not doubt that the gameplay is solid. I think it's the studio that knows what they're doing in that regard. And it's usually pretty good with story too, so. But we're not gonna get to see any of that here. Yeah. Eh, it looks fine. It looks like Destiny. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be a wait and see what people. when people actually get to play like story content and stuff like that. How good or how weak that is. Just a short version of the full demo that we brought here to LA. So if you want to. So there's a demo there. Okay, so that was like just cut okay. version of the demo people can play. Okay. All right, all right, that's good. But that's the thing, we're not going to get to see. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I feel kind of underwhelmed, but yeah. Outside, so I yeah, the presentation there. itself was under yeah, underwhelming. <laughs> Again, I'm left with all the same questions I had. <laughs> yeah, they didn't answer anything. It was just today. like, oh. here is a Elder Destiny type game. It didn't establish itself as unique, really, or anything. And some of the stuff that they said that I am interested in, 
which I've really enjoyed in other Bioware games, which are like the interesting characters and stuff like that. They mentioned it, but they didn't show any of it. I think. And they showed what they had already shown last year with. Um, yeah. Yeah, they, they show similar gameplay where you're just going around blowing stuff up and shooting things. So, like, they showed stuff that we already knew about. And I was hoping to see, like, new stuff. So, uh, I want to let you guys know to keep your streams going because in just a few moments, not... FIFA 18 World Cup last <laughs> <is going> to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep this on. <laughs> I'll definitely keep this on. All right, that's it. All right, I'm switching off of this. Oh, I'll, I'll watch the sizzle reel. I'll watch the sizzle reel. Easy. Uh, all right, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. All right. There were definitely like a few things that I was interested in. Oh, I'll wait for you to come back. But yeah, definitely, there were a few things that I was interested in, but the presentation, this... Well, EA is notorious for having bad presentations and making some good games look bad, which I think is the case with Anthem. I think they had... The things that make a good Bioware game were completely lacking in that. And they showed, again, like I said, what they had already shown, and that was it. And the other two games that I thought were interesting were... Command and Conquer, the mobile game, no. <laughs> Were the indie games that they had. Alright, alright. I need to stop this. Um, <laughs> funny face. Where's my mouse? There we go. But, um, uh, I thought it was definitely <laughs> very underwhelming. And that presentation for Anthem was terrible! I don't know what you guys thought. They didn't show anything that I wanted to see. I didn't get to see, experience any of the story stuff, any of the characters, which was one of the really interesting things that they showed with Mass Effect during E3, was like these scenes with the characters and stuff like that. And you, you got to see them, and especially, I know that this wouldn't be the case with this one, but like showing like in Mass Effect 2 and 3, returning characters and different stuff like that. Showing options to talk. And all they showed was the same gameplay that we saw last year. Uh, and that's the thing, I am left in the same spot. This presentation was completely useless. <laughs> And the game that I wanted to learn the most about, I didn't learn anything about. And... I, I guess I'm still excited about Anthem. This, sadly, I am still excited in the same way I was before. And not more, because I didn't get to see anything else. <laughs> it's like, oh... And, uh... Yeah! Again, year by year, they, they keep disappointing <laughs> with their presentations. Good thing that we got that one out of the way first. I'm hoping that the next few ones are going to be better. Let me check here. I'll check here the schedule for what the next ones are. Uh, E3. Here we go. Here's the schedule. <laughs> Kai says, oh, bad, just bad. Yeah, it, it was really disappointing. <laughs> So EA, which was today, Sunday, tomorrow, and we're gonna be streaming all of these. Uh, I do, <laughs> I do hope this is gonna be hard for some of you, but the Devolver Digital one. I'm recording all of these. I'm gonna be post. They're gonna be vods on Twitch, just like normal. But I'm also gonna be posting a higher quality version on on YouTube. So. But I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm okay, back. okay, okay. So Microsoft is tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Bethesda is at 9:30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and Devolver is 11 p.m. Eastern. And for British time, I don't know exactly what time you're on, Kaya, but it's 9 p.m. Uh, British for Microsoft. 2 p.m. 2 a.m. <laughs> British for Bethesda and 4 a.m. British for Devolver. Yeah, yeah. Kai, so, I expect you to be there. At 2 I expect to you to be for all of them. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but yeah, so we're going to be doing that. And then on Monday, we have Square Enix, their first time doing one in a long time because theirs was, <laughs> was a disaster the last time they tried. Uh, it was one million troops. <laughs> <laughs> that was them, right? Or was that Konami? No, that was, that was Konami. Oh, that was Konami. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Square is on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Ubisoft is at 4 p.m. Eastern. PC Gaming Show is at 6 p.m. Eastern. And then oh. Sony is at 9 p.m. Eastern. And then on Tuesday, only one, which is Nintendo at 12 p.m. Midday Eastern. So... Just add five hours to your time? Okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, it's... If it's 9 a.m. here, it's like 3 a.m. for you. Yeah, so it's one more than British time. Okay, okay. Anyway, so we have a few more trailers from stuff that was announced beforehand that I wanted to, to take a look. Check a look. And, uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today. But, uh, do you still have it open? The, uh... The yeah, playlist. Uh, I can watch a couple, but I'm gonna have to go. In a all right, minutes. all right. Now that's all right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, tomorrow and the next day I'll be able to just stick around for whatever. Sounds good. But I can I can watch. I'll watch. Let's do two or two of them or something. I Sounds good. Do. Sounds good. All right. So next one is. Oh yeah, I'll finish the the EA press conference recording. Thank you. Goodbye.